Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer Channel. It's your boy Green Magic. Tonight we're gonna play a what I like to consider a hidden gem for the Super Nintendo Sports Catalog NHL Stanley Cup. Um, this is Mode 7 graphics, loosely based on 1991 uh, NHL hockey teams. Um, you'll see that we've got the real teams going on, um, but not the player names, so they had the league license, um, uh, but not the player's license. So real quick, I'll just uh, blast this out on Facebook, Discord, um, make sure people know what's going on. Thing with Tom, Matt, Sean, um, Alex was in there. Um, people were, we were talking a little bit about uh, Super Nintendo sports games. And um, let's see. Put this under all other sports. So yeah, we got that on Discord, Facebook, well, I'm trying to post on Facebook. Might take a second. Um, Sean Guzik saying, looks good, man. Uh, OSU saying, this just by yourself. Yeah, sorry, dude, it's just me tonight. Um, and uh, so yeah, hopefully we have some good, uh, some good viewership. El Tempo saying the 3D-ish perspective is interesting in a good way. I feel you. It, this is a polarizing game. I'll, I'll admit that off the bat. Um, NHL 94 and that series for 16-bit had a huge following. This game, not so much. And I just want to admit that right up front. For me, it's got a, a strong nostalgic pull. Um, to me, it really speaks about the, so the sort of things that the Super Nintendo was experimenting with back then. Um, I find it really fun. I'm going to enjoy playing it. Uh, hopefully it's a fun viewing experience too. Um, oh, thanks OSU. You don't mind watching me. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, you need to get on the, the server for Super Nintendo Sports Games. Yeah, we, we need to figure that out. Um, Alright, trying to post this on Facebook real quick. Um, I'd like to do, I'd like to do a, uh, a Blackhawks season. I think you can do a, a short season. Not not all tonight, but you know, um, maybe like a 26 game season would take a few videos. Um, this isn't posted on Facebook, but we'll, so we'll try that again later. What's up, DPS in the house? This game was ahead of its time, says Retro Sports Gamer Tom. Um, uh, damn straight, you know. Um, I think it's great. Uh, so let's just. Let's just pop in here. We'll do the quick survey of game options. You can do penalties on, off, or just offsides on. Um, and so we're gonna do we're gonna do all on. Uh, that gives me a little more discipline when I'm on defense. I don't just cross check everybody. As fun as that is, I like to be disciplined and do the poke checks. Uh, line change. We're gonna say on. I like to have that strategic element. You got three lines. Um, and when you have a penalty and you're shorthanded, you have your your you know penalty kill lines, and then obviously or your checking lines, and then uh, when you're on the power play, you have your scoring lines. So we're gonna do five minutes uh, so we can blow through it. Language, French or English, that that's fun. Um, 
You can do best of seven. You can do season play. I'm going to lock it in with a season, I think. Um, yeah, good seeing what Three Magic has to say about this game. Um, oh, Sean Guzik saying, are the Whalers in this game? So let's go ahead and... Uh, trying to see if there's a way I can look at rosters. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> I accidentally locked something in. Let's see if I can uh, quit it. I don't think I can. Sorry, guys. We're gonna uh, we're gonna reset this. Um. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. There they are, the Blackhawks. Uh, as you can see, you got Eastern Conference. Um, all the, this is about Sir. Yeah, that's right. We're back, DPS. This is about circa '91, I would say. It came out in. Uh, it came out in '93, so you assume it's the '91, uh, '93 season. Um, we're gonna ho go ahead and get started here, and after, um, uh, after at the end of the game, we'll, we'll they'll have some some highlights or some what do you call it? Some, you know, they'll show the stats from the game, and maybe some of these guys will be familiar to you. We got number thirty-three. We got twenty-seven. Obviously, that's Jeremy Roenick. Uh, Thirty should be Ed Belfour. Um, Oh, with a little with a little hit check. Ooh, the goalie's right there. Um, yeah, Tom saving his opinion says he hasn't played it enough to have an opinion. So it does take a little get you getting used to. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if I can uh, uh, score while I'm multitasking talking to the the stream. But usually there's a couple couple kind of go-to ways of scoring um you kind of want to take it on a oh offsides you kind of want to take it on a break do a little juke and uh, get in the we're gonna go to our second line here um you get in the juke usually you can catch the goalie if you got have a guy who's fast enough um usually like the one-timer kind of Pass across the crease uh, doesn't isn't as work as well as you'd want it to. Um, oh, cross check that could have been a penalty, but oh, nice save! And as you can see, the goal is very formidable. They uh, they do if you have a player who uh runs into them, they just kind of get blasted and fall over. Um, ooh, another cross check, not not a penalty. Sometimes you get you get a little bit of a fast break opportunity um, when they. Oh, there was a close shot. And that's kind of what you want to do when you're um, to try to score. Oh, and there's the penalty. What's up, Infamous Smoke? Thanks for checking in. Um, seven Chelios, five Steve Smith says, uh, DPS. Number 10, not sure who that is. But we can, we can look them all up. Oh, offside. Ooh. <clears throat> These games do go pretty fast. I'm already 30, 30 seconds left in the first period. Might not have a lot of barn burners, but that does mean I am. It, you will be able to, uh, you know, get through a, a season pretty fast, which is always fun. All right, 18 seconds left. Let's see if I can get another uh, scoring opportunity. Oh, oh, the save. So, um. Yeah, what do, what do you guys think? Is it, uh, yeah, he was, you're right, El Tempo, number 27. He's the starting center, uh, Jeremy Runnick. Um, 
So I'm curious for you guys. Oh, so here we go. Here's the whole. Um, you might as well take a second and. Uh, So let's just look at our roster real quick here. Let's see what we got going on. Um, TPS already mentioned a couple guys. Um, so number 33. It looks like that's Stefane Matow, number 10. Um, Ryan Noonan, 14. Mike Stapleton, 28. Steve Larmer, definitely one of the uh, the big names on the team. Uh, 16, Michel Goulet. 32, Steve Thomas. 27, Ronick, of course. 22, uh, we got a couple 22s. Adam Creighton and Rob Brown. 32, um, oh, we already did that. I already said Matow. Oh, my bad. 33 was uh, Dirk Graham. And so on and so forth with Defenders, um, Chelios. Actually, number five, they say, Steve Conroy. So, I don't know. Hopefully, some of those names are familiar. Um, that's kind of like what some of these uh, older games, you kind of had to use your imagination and, uh, you know, remember who, who the stars were and whatnot. All right. Ronan, definitely my fastest player. I really need to get him in the open ice and uh, <clears throat> get get some goals going. 32 is listed twice as DPS. That's right. Ooh. Ronick with a big steal. Sometimes you can get a little wraparound going on. Oh, but the goalie. The goalie rocked my world. Ooh, big save. Ooh, nice play set up there. I like to uh, charge up with the goalie and just kind of get those guys like, oh, that should have been a goal, dude. That should have been a goal. I set that up well, if I do say so myself. I think my dudes are getting tired already. It's just about time for a uh, change. Is there fighting this says El Tempo? No, there's not. Uh, that would that'd be exciting. Mode 7 fighting. Um, oh, missed the pass. No, you just, you got penalties. Um, penalty shots and whatnot. Charging, shouldn't have did that. Um, DPS saying it could have been before Steve Smith. Yeah, 91 feels like a long time ago. I don't know. Like, that was before the uh, the mid-90s uh, Blackhawks. Oh. Gonna go wrap around. Can't do that. That's slashing. Um, Tom saying, I think the graphics are impressive. Scoreboard taking up almost half the screen is the real deal. Yeah, that's a good point. I wonder if that was purposeful so that they somehow, like, uh, you know, saved memory or whatever. Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. There's there's the play to Ronick. Jeremy Ronick with that high, uh, that high offensive awareness. Just kidding, that's not really a uh, attribute in this game, but um, he was just right in the right in the right place and he's got that accuracy. <clears throat> Tom saying it was on purpose. They uh, didn't want to have to show more than they than they had to, you know, 
save uh, graphical ability and whatnot. Ooh. And you know I'm gonna push it up the ice when they do the uh, the change. Oh, I could have had that. Scoring is kind of tough, so when I I miss a a shot like that, um, you know it's it's tough. And of course we got the Greg Gumble stand-in saying this period was NHL action at its finest. He says that if you score a goal, if you don't score a goal, um, then uh, he says it was lackluster. So. What can I say? Il Tempo is saying, uh, seeing this reminds me of those old Rock'em Sock'em Hop hockey tapes. Yeah, it, it's pretty gritty. Uh, DVD with that former Bruins coach. Um, someone's gonna have to help me out with that trivia. I don't know my, uh, I don't know my hockey uh, trivia. And always he likes the graphics in this game. I'm glad. It, uh, I, I enjoy it. Even today, it's taken a second to uh, get back into the swing of things for sure. Uh, I had eight shots that period, and let it let in one goal. Um, yeah, not many games pulled off the. Uh, what's up, Clarence Parker? Um, we're gonna put our first line back in. Not many games pulled off the 3D and Super Nintendo. That's that's right. Another game that tried to do it is uh, NCAA basketball. Um, Oh, Ronick, I guess it would have been a two-line pass, so he just let it go. Uh, NCAA basketball, not a not a bad game. We're going to try to take this up with Chelios. Um, he's got a little bit of speed. Not too crazy, though. Of course, he gets, he gets picked off. Warmer to Ronick. He's got the speed. There we go. And that's what you want to do a lot of times. Uh, just like rip around the side and just uh, just get around that goalie. You just got to do it. And that's that's weird. I don't like it when they do that. They uh, <laughs> After the faceoff, they dump the puck and um, to do a line change. And it's like, why don't you just do a line change while we were... Uh, while we were doing the face-off, dude. Clarence Parker's doing great. Um, I wonder um, Mario 64 gets credit for that and not this game. Um, of course, games like Mario 64, they, they went to the whole other level because you could kind of have a first... Uh, person perspective. Oh, getting checked by the goalie. Um, and that's true 3D. Mo mode 7 is more like, uh, you know, pretend 3D. Uh, it it's more like an illusion because you have you just have the background and the foreground. Oh, so tried to get it around him. Ronick's looking a little tired. Um, Ronick's still in. I thought I did a did a change. And there, uh, oh, here we go. Here's here's what I want. Oh, that's on me. That's on me. So yeah, Tom saying Star Fox that FX racing game. Oh, I just got blasted because I was looking at the chat. Um, yeah, Star Fox is another one for sure. Very polygon heavy in um, Super Nintendo, but um, oh, couldn't do it. Sometimes you just gotta blast a slap shot. Slap shots are kind of tricky. Um, you just kind of gotta feel it. There's no, there's no like attributes for like. This guy is really good at slap shots or whatever. You just kind of let it rip and, and hope for the best. And uh, a lot of times they do block it, um, especially when they're they're cluttered like that. So uh, Blackhawks get the dub. Yeah, this game is two and a half deep, says OSU. 
That's right, Infamous Smoke saying Mode 7 is 2D sprites made to look pretty. Uh, that's exactly right. Um, reminds me of Pilot Wings and also the top set. When the camera turns where you are facing the goal, you are like the NBA game where it turns to face the hoop. Um, yeah, I guess I guess there are some older NBA games where that happens. The one I'm most familiar with is NCAA basketball, um, which I'll definitely have to stream sometime. That's that's pretty under underrated Super Nintendo uh, game. Um, but what's you say? This game is fun. I'm glad you like it, dude. Uh, so two goals for Aronic out of four shots. Um, so not bad for the first game. Um, Stars really didn't have a lot of shots. Three, six, nine shots. Not bad. Um, so that's that. Uh, we can save and continue. You can do season stats. That's a. Oh, thanks, Ellis. You appreciate that. Um, you gotta have. You gotta have stat tracking with these old games. You know what I'm saying? So I just played one game, so that obviously there's not a lot of accumulated yet. Uh, scroll down and you see that my goalie is a uh, hundred percent nine saves. Head bell for. Um, so you can go back and look at the game, the game stats I just did. So we'll go ahead and save continue, rip into another one. Um, ooh, I ha looks like I have a Canuck season. Um, you get to see what the conference is doing. Blackhawks, Maple Leafs, Red Wings. I love to see that disbursement because now I'm like, okay, Maple Leafs games and Red Wings games are, are really big, and I got a, a division win against the Stars just now, so that was nice. Also, Canucks, Flames, Oilers, got a dub. Bruins, Canadian Penguins, also Devils, Islanders, Panthers, Lightning. Panthers is one of the worst teams in the game, so that's kind of fun to see them get the dub. So let, let's go ahead and play Tampa. Um, they're 1-0. Does this game have uh, game options? Says Ill Tempo. Uh, it had. You can turn penalties on and off. Um, you can make the. Uh, what's it called? You can do a little poke check. And I like that red. Um, it's a nice, a vibrant color. Cross stream. Oh, couldn't get the shot off. Um, yeah, you can make you know five, ten, fifteen minute periods take uh, offsides off and just have penalties or I mean just have offsides but no penalties uh, oh but I like to have I like to have the penalties on so I'm disciplined to not just cross check them um, so I'm already gonna put in my second line here uh, another cool thing is you can um, you can do a best of seven oh big slapper right in front of the goal I just ripped it uh, what's up, Shalabay? Good to see you tonight. Um, number 33 rips the slapper. I'm going to have to remember that and uh, give him more options. Because if he's good for that, uh, then I'm good for that. Oh, almost got the rebound. Wasn't quick enough on the draw. Um, yeah, I forget if I finished that thought. But yeah, for game modes, you can do a best of seven. So that's like a really quick playoffs. Um, Whoa, Belfour way out of the net. What are you doing, buddy? All right, Chelios, here we go, buddy. He's got a little bit of speed. We're going to take him around at the end here. Oh, he gets blasted. Oh, man. And I do I do love those cross checks. They're they're vicious. They're they're gritty. Um and a lot of times they'll, they'll call a penalty on you, but not always. Slashing on the lightning. That's 4 minutes. Merry Christmas, Shallow. Yeah, the orange NHL logo looks corny. <laughs> yeah, I feel you on that. My, my guys are looking tired. You like the modern NHL logo better with the silver and black instead of orange. I feel you. I feel you. Oh, there he is. His open. 33. Can't pass with anything, though. Neither can Belfort. Uh, there he goes. Ooh, nearly gets the rebound. It doesn't go, though. Rebounds are kind of tough. Those things are tough in this game. What can I say? Yeah, that was offsides. I wasn't smart. But he almost made the slapper. Ooh, talking about uh, 
Why are you messing around, said Shallow? Belfour, what a legend. Clearance, it never made any sense on the logo. Alright, let's go, 22. Let's make something happen, bro. Oh, goalie cutting me off. Uh, I might try that with Ronick. He's a little faster than... Oh, penalty shot awarded to Tampa Bay! I'm just gonna... Bl I'm gonna become the goalie and just blast them. Actually, that was more like a... Uh... Yeah, my dudes are getting tired. They, uh, they're getting tired on the road in Tampa Bay. It's a long trip. Okay, Ronick, it's time to play Selfish Hockey. Oh, he gets picked off. Oh, nearly got the rebound. Oh, that hurts. So I got I got stuffed that period. Um Tom, don't get uh don't get addicted to Tecmo. It's easy to do. He's not the only one addicted to Tecmo. Alright, don't want to waste this power play. I got a dude in the box. Um So let's let's set something up sexy here. That wasn't it. Ooh, they're uh they're switching lines. That's right. Penalty shot. Ooh, off the balls. No. That was a golden opportunity. Um. Golden opportunity missed by the Blackhawks. I really hope that doesn't, uh, uh, boom, with the slapper. Goalie coming out like a boss. Oh, dang. Good defense by the center. Slashing, that's another four minutes. All right, I got to score here. I got the, uh. Uh, Il Tempo is saying, hockey was the game that got me into sports as a kid. That's cool. Uh, not for me, but uh, I did play some roller hockey um, with with my buddies, junior high. Um, and that was right about the time that the Mighty Ducks movies were coming out. So I do think that kind of like, yeah, there it is. There's the cross crease um, set up very nicely there. Not quite a one-timer, but still pretty sexy, I think. So, yeah, love, love me some roller hockey. Lots of great memories. Ronick is looking fast. He wants a piece. Oh, man. You can really tell when you've got a player that's, uh, that's fast. And speed, speed is everything. Speed kills, if you will. Oh, Belfour. Belfour to Jerry. Jerry! Oh, I <laughs> I pressed B, but it didn't go. Oh, well. Oh, it's the post, Jerry! Man, this game is breaking my heart. I don't remember it being so heartbreaking as a child. Maybe I blocked the... Oh, another one! A cross crease to Jeremy! Ronick with that offensive awareness. Um, we got to go second line, give, uh, Jeremy and the boys some rest. Ooh, Jeremy picks his pocket. He's got a breakaway. Oh, not Jeremy. My bad. Number 22. That's why he wasn't so fast. Nice poke checks. By the winger or whoever. Oh, right in front of the goal. Holding, that's two minutes. Uh, 
How are you, Ben? Says Shalabay. Man, I've been holding on to my butt, dude. It's been crazy at Trader Joe's. Uh, we're just we're just trying to do our best, you know. We gotta be there for the customers and all that. So we're just trying to keep a keep a good face and be positive for people, you know. Uh, how are you, Ben, mate? Um, hockey is fun and complete madness, says Il Tempo. You got that right. Um. Yeah. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. That sounds intense. Blackhawks kept the Lightning scoreless in period 2. That's right. So Jeremy and number 22 getting some goals. It was really nice to get a couple after being shot out in the first period. Uh, so third period, time to lock up. Um, got that first line in with, uh, with Roro. Here he is. Oh, hits the post. That's accuracy when you hit the post. Slashing. Shunta did that. So that's four minutes. So that's one thing about uh, playing these short periods is... So every penalty is two minutes, except for slashing is four minutes. So if you get hit with a slashing, you're basically out for the whole period if you're playing these, uh, you know, short shorter games. So that can be a huge takes it outside. Oh, tries to slip it in. Jeremy can't do it. Nice save. Guys getting tired. It's about time to, uh... Oh, yeah! Got him! Oh, man. Eli the Wolf's making the old Flyers goal horn from the Spectrum days? That sounds intense. Uh, I will say that's one of the, the kind of uh, presentation aspects of this game that really... Uh, sticks with me is uh, how slow my guy is. I'm just kidding. Is the the the, the light when you, you score a goal? They just like it really feels like they're celebrating because it just you know it's so loud and just you know the goalie's just ticked off and he hits the puck with a stick and all that. It's it's a really nice um, really nice little presentation moment. I feel like. Oh, oh, Jeremy still gets it in. See, that, that didn't seem like a great pass. Um, oh, it's Miss Fit and Smoke saying, how do you like the NCAA basketball game in Mode 7? Yeah, I, meant, I mentioned that earlier. I uh, I enjoy it. I, You know, it's a, it's a very early Super Nintendo game, I believe. Um, so they, they don't have... Uh, they don't have a lot of the teams, like... I don't even think they necessarily have Big Ten teams, which is kind of like, you know, what's the point? But, you know, they just, they I guess they just couldn't have all the conferences in there. But I enjoy how the gameplay is, and I, I like how uh, just the, all the action, just like Stanley Cup, it's all funneled to the top. And it, it makes it really fun when you, you're on a fast break and uh, you, especially when you end it with a dunk, for some reason, that's just like, I found that super satisfying with that game. So, definitely worth a stream at some point. Um, Ronick looking a little slow skis. Uh, gets his pocket picked. But I can pick his pocket. No, I can't. My guys are tired. Fifteen seconds. It's a last shot. It doesn't go. Um, ooh, infamous smoke saying Hewlett on Kentucky can't miss on that game from the three. It's straight fire from there. I, I believe you, dude. Um, I think I did a couple seasons with uh, different teams. Um, 
think Texas Christian and just like, you know, different random teams like that. Um, so yeah, definitely worth a look back. Clarence Parker saying, uh, Madden 15, I haven't bought a new Madden in a long time. The game has been completely trashed the last number of years. Um, it, it, to, for me, the Madden games, they look fun to look at, like especially when someone, they simulate a season, you know, you see those YouTube videos. Um, um, like I think they did that for the, like before the NFL season usually, they simulate the season with different teams, predict blah, blah, blah. But, uh, you know, and it, it looks cool, so, and it's fun to see what, uh, what happens in the game. Ooh, Ronick already five goals, 11 shots. He's almost shooting 50%. Number 22 and 33 chipping in. Belfour, The Rock, 17 saves. We're going to save and continue. We're going to, we are going to... Roll another one. Chalabay saying, how about my team on 2K19? Ronick on fire said he'll tell him, oh, that's right. Yeah, he was he was in the right spot a lot of those plays. Um, obviously, he's got the speed to get around the keeper. Speed is key. So... Blackhawks playing away again, so they got those nice red jerseys. Ooh, that, that was close. Ooh, here we go. Larmer. Oh, slide tackles, Jeremy. My timing might have been a little off. That's going to be icing if they... Ah! Slipped. That would have been icing had they touched it, but my dude touched it, so it was okay, I guess. Sometimes you just got to rip a slapper, am I right? It just it's a cluster bomb sometimes in the in the uh oh, Roanick So does the chat have any favorite hockey players? Um I don't know. Y'all y'all chip in with who your favorite dudes are. Um I enjoy me some uh, McGillney on Buffalo. He's in this game as well as NHL 94. Pretty powerful uh, player. Um, obviously, for the goalie blasted Ronick, though. But it was worth it. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, Ronick, yeah. Little inside outside action. Tony Amante for Chicago says OSU. Uh, Alex Ovechkin. I, I don't know my my pronunciation for hockey players for the Caps. Um, in this in this game, um, obviously Pittsburgh's good. They got uh, Yager and Lemieux. Um, pretty fantastic duo, as you would expect. Flyers, you got uh, Eric Lindros, so um, so that that's kind of like I was more familiar with pro hockey through video games than the league. Like growing up in Wisconsin, we knew about the Black. Oh, that could have been a penalty. We knew about the Blackhawks, of course, but like we didn't have a pro team in the state. Uh, we had a minor league team, so I saw a bunch of uh, hockey, minor league hockey games. I remember seeing guys like Gino Cavallini, um, who of course would be on in the NHL later. Um, rips the slapper. Man, I'm playing that lockdown D. They can't get it out of the zone. 
Um, Ten seconds left. I'm just going to have to rip one. Oh! That close. Super Mario Lemieux, that's right. Uh, old school for life. That's right. Peter's financial action at its finest, of course, because of uh, Jeremy Roenick. Two goals on two shots. Dude, this guy is, is I think he's going to be good one day. Capitals that in two goals and only six shots. Let's get back to the action, says Greg Gumbel. Oh man, my, my dudes just let him get in there. That was embarrassing. All right. Oh, couldn't connect the pass, but that would have been a, uh, a good opportunity for sure. Oh, big check. Could have been a penalty. Referee said that they didn't see anything. Number five's got okay speed for a uh, for a defender. Oh, it's the post. Breaks my heart. And they kind of waste. That could have been a bit of a... Uh... Oh, that could have been offsides for sure. Hits the post again. Man. Either I'm getting unlucky or I just... Uh, I don't have the skills no more. There it is! Across the crease. And they, they just can't stop Ronick. They need to double guard him or something, because he is just freaking lighting up the league. Oh, there it is. There's the elbow. I saw the elbow. Fight Night Champion. Need for Speed Hopper. NBA Jam. Ooh. Ronick evades him. Uh oh. Ronick got his own rebound. Couldn't seal the deal, though. Oh, high sticking. So we're going to have a, a, a double, whatever you call it, power play. So if I don't get a goal, that's just that's just embarrassing. I mean five on three, come on. Ah, oh, too slow. Couldn't get around him. Number six, the defender. Ah, oh, can't get around him. And yes, I'm embarrassed that I haven't got it in the goal yet. Oh, man. Cool thing about sports games is that a lot of it is cheap to collect, especially old ones. Yeah, this game you'll see for like a dollar. Like literally a dollar. Um, and uh, I think it's well worth it. <laughs> uh, well worth it. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. It isn't. It does take a second to get into. If you're not familiar with the mode seven, for sure. No goals for the Capitals. Blackhawks haven't been scored on all season. How about that? One more period to uh, to get the dub. Another double penalty, but only for 10 more seconds. There we go. Larmer assisted by Roenick. 
and he was he was nice and fast because uh, you know we just came out of the period. Farmer gonna gonna oh another penalty. That's why I can't cross check, dude. You gotta keep that stick on the ground. <laughs> Nailed him. Oh, they were trying to get the slapper on. It didn't go. Oh, nice poke check. some mode 7 shenanigans if you ask me um i love showtime says uh osu dang straight that's a it's a great great game oh big cross check against the boards ah missed the pass where's the pass what's the pass Oh man, this guy is slow. I had to change the, uh... Alright, when are you playing Showtime, says OSU. Looks like Tom's gonna play it soon. Alright, here's Jeremy. Ooh, inside, outside, he's got speed. Hits the post again, and there's the rebound goal. Alright. Um... Il Tempo talking about a cool retro games shop close to where he lives. Stack of sports because not many people buy them. Win situation. Yeah, dude, our goal is to uh, expose you to the games and let you know which ones are which ones are good, you know? Which ones are worth uh, playing, worth having. able to set something up that was that was too bad larmer he sees his man oh ronick man what are you doing dude what are you doing oh that was a penalty what are you talking about sometimes it's just a freaking junior high cluster bomb up in here offsides jeez that was that was pathetic um, I have a championship game against all-time champions. If I win, I get to add Bernard King to the team. Um, nice. Computer's tough as nails. Wow. Oh, it's you showing some love for Showtime Arcade. Saying that's, he likes it as much as Tom likes Techno. Uh, big time rebound goal. That's right. Cameron Ronick, you got to triple guard him. Oh, they saying the 80 Celtics would easily beat the. Forget who they were comparing them to. Oh, 90s Bulls. Interesting. That's a hot take. Too much depth. Four Bulls. Oh, my man. He is just tearing up the league. Making me look great at this game. Gotta look at those uh, season stats. Nine goals for Jeremy. Uh, ten points. Still only three other guys have scored. That's, that's one thing I like to do when I'm doing a season in this game, is try to have everyone on the team score. It's pretty tough, because those defensive men are slow. Um, so three dubs. Now we get to see who else is undefeated. Maple Leafs, I'll probably be playing them soon. They're the only other undefeated team in the West. And then we got 
the Penguins, who are a great team, like I already said. Um, Islanders technically undefeated 2-0-1. Um, we got Philadelphia. They are they are decent, as you would expect. Eric Lindros. Um, Big penalty. I tried to get the pass off. Didn't go. Now it's time to it's time to put in a quick one. Ah, that one felt good, but I didn't get it. Oh, Jeremy with the cross check. Don't know what I was doing there. I couldn't commit to anything. Ronick blazing down the sideline. Man, this goalie knows what's up. He's uh, He knows my move. Oh, it's the post! Oh, no! I, pa I freaked out and passed it instead of shot on the open goal. Man, that's, that's too bad. Offsides, yeah, I thought I was offsides, but I wanted to keep doing it anyway. Shallow Bay created 85-86 Rockets against the Celtics. Dope team with Twin Towers. Hit the win all in 87 and lost to Chambers in, in six in the second round. Oh, no. Dude, Chambers will get you, man. That, uh, that Suns team... 92 Suns team was for real. Man, this guy is slow. Gets obliterated, can't get the rebound. Offsides? Dang. OSU loves NBA 2K14 on PS3. No one's really in position. Oh, yeah, I'll take that penalty. We got a double double penalty. Check out check out Tom Chambers all time. Top 10 dunks of all time. Um, got it going on. Give me some of that green magic, baby. What's up, Deontay? Good to see you, man. Hope you're hanging onto your butts like we all are. We're playing some NHL, or, uh, yeah, NHL Stanley Cup. Jeremy Roenick going ham. Destroying the league. Nine goals in three games. About to be tested for steroids, probably. The Flyers, zero shots. Man, my dudes, my dudes are tired, I feel it. Oh, hits the post, what a slapper! Thanks, Yante, for being proud of me. Appreciate that. Uh, El Tempo used Tom Chambers a lot in 2K20. Oh man, they're just they're just passing around. They're not gonna let me get the puck back. Well, I destroyed them on the the shot differential. I think I know what I need though. I need another cider. Yeah, it's funny you say the uh, the Rockets were the first. I think you're referring to uh, to Two Towers. When I think of Two Towers, I think of uh, the Spurs, Dennis Rodman and Dave Robinson on NBA Jam. I refer to them as the original Two Towers because I don't know my basketball history. They are ferocious. 
Donk Mix. Um, is is the shot aiming auto or manual? Um, I'll say it's auto, but it's really about you putting where you put your posi the position of your player. You know, and I I don't know. It, it's it's. I get it's a mixture. I'm trying to think of what manual would look like. Uh, I guess it is more manual because like, but it's where your player is positioned. You know. Um, there's not really a way to shoot across your body. Um, you just kind of like okay. Oh, there we go. So I w I just did a wrist shot right, and I, I was pressing left. So he was, in general, shooting to the left of the goal, so... In that, that regard, it's manual. I mean, you can't, like, shoot for the top left corner, you know? It's, it's really just left or right. Oh, whiffs it. Oh, almost gets the rebound! They, uh, they poke-checked me. As I was trying to get the rebound, that's that's rough. Oh man, this guy is shanking it. He needs to go back to uh, the Milwaukee Admirals. Elbowing against Lindros, get in the block, get in the box. Chambers is a great player, man. You guys are getting me excited for some. Uh, some basketball. I've been breaking down the um, the rosters to Tecmo NBA basketball for original Nintendo, and Chambers is on the Suns. Actually, Tom played as the Suns the other day, and uh, I think he, Hornacek and Chambers were doing some penalty shot. Oh, I got to focus. Ah. Um, Tom would bang. <laughs> bang and grab boards and shoot threes. That's right. Uh, yeah, Tom was Tom was having some success with the the Suns. Another penalty. Come on, guys. You gotta. Where's your poke checks at? All right, here we go. Power one. It's time to set something up sweet. Oh. You know that's not going to be a penalty because they already got two guys in the box. Oh, off the post. Oh. Ouch. Now they play good defense. I just thought I would rip one. Uh, penalty shot denied, that's right. Porzingas is a joke compared to Tom Chambers. Don't diss my boy Porzingas, though, says Il Tempo. That's my boy from Latvia. Seven foot three, honey boot. Glorified Chuck Nabbit. Yeah, that was not a good period for me. I just, I kept shanking my shots. Only had four of them. Been a defensive battle, I'll tell you what. I want this dub though, because I want to be the. Uh, I want to be the last remaining uh, undefeated team. And good defense. Oh, bad defense. Slashing. Setting it up, using that speed. Oh. 
double penalty. This is where the uh, this is where the Blackhawks make their make their money. Also, where the Flyers start playing good defense, actually. Ah! See, now they can cross check at will with no repercussions. Offsides. Nice move to get open. All right, I got my dude back. He is back. All right. Can't do it. Good saves by the goalie. an open net. I didn't shoot at the right time. I'm going to go ahead and put in my first line. I to watch Tom Chambers dunk over every player in the NBA in the 80s. Icing. I'll show you icing. Paul Gasol, Tim Duncan, Kobe Bryant, Richard Hamilton, and Gary Payton. Yikes, man. Not bad. Nice pass there. This should be good. And it is. I felt that with a fresh Steve Larmer. With a fresh Steve. Ah, good D. They let me get the pass, but. I save. I just went ahead and ripped it. 30 seconds. All right. We almost got that dub. Oh, almost got one more. Almost did it. to get him on my team. I want old school players. No new sugar puts. <laughs> Need some Oscar Robertson if you want if you got the old school guys. It was a slow night he says. I was just saving my best for last. Steve Larmer with a clutch goal. First game of the season, Ronick, no goals. Number 22, six shots, wow. Flyers only five shots all game, that's that's pitiful. That's right, Blackhawks rolling. Um, I mean, that's why I picked them. They, uh, I don't know where they rank tier-wise, but I know Ronick is the real deal. Only nine goals, only nine. Belfour, still solid. Um, we're gonna we're gonna keep going here. Islanders still undefeated technically. Blackhawks and Maple Leafs undefeated, so I, I want to face one of those guys. Although it might be a second before I face any guys in the West. Well, I did, I did play the Stars. I feel like you you play the guys in your conference a lot more often. Ooh, Panthers! This should be a beatdown. For real though, the uh, I mean, this might be the first video game that the Panthers were in, you know. And uh, here, as I'm talking smack, I missed my first opportunity.
They're just cluttering the crease. I have to get that clean shot off. I pride myself when they, the ref has his hand up like that to, uh, to get a good clean shot. Oh, another penalty. What do you guys think? Are the penalties too much? They literally, they had a guy in the box for nine seconds before they got another penalty. Those wraparounds are tough because of the mode 7. Oh, with the shank. He was there, but he couldn't finish it. Obliterated. Ha <laughs> ha! I can do that too. Man, he's he's slow. I gotta change the line because he uh he looks so low. I was talking smack before the beginning of this game, but I haven't been able to back that up. Ooh, Ronick. In and out in front of everybody. Oh! And of course it goes in. Of course it goes in. No respect for the Panthers, says Il Tempo. Dude, I'm telling you, usually I uh, usually I slap them around, but I, I only got five shots off. I guess I got to uh, focus up and get uh, get run at the puck. Focus up and get run at the puck. All those penalty minutes, no goals to show for it. Oh, what a shot! I I checked him so many times, and uh, you can you see that sometimes they'll they'll check the goalie, and um, usually it's a penalty, but sometimes it's not. So sometimes they actually kind of get dirty goals that way. Oh, there it is. Ronick with the rebound. That's right. You know, I had to just keep peppering the net. Ah. Nice check in the front court. Woo! 
don't know if you y'all say that, but I uh, the cider messing you up, says Tom. Uh, they just seem to happen. Hello, bro. Thankful for the show. Thanks, Teddy Belcher. Thanks for checking in, dude. We're playing some hockey. We talked about this one Monday night uh, when we were doing the NES Open on the channel, and I thought it'd be fun to uh, to bust it out. Uh, I consider it a hidden gem. Um, you know, it looks so much different than games nowadays, but that's part of the charm in my opinion. Um, definitely not for everyone. Um, a lot of people in the, the NHL 94 crowd really kind of disdain this game. <laughs> uh, they just think it's nothing that NHL 94 is. But I just, I got to give it props for... For, uh, for trying, and you're saying it's closer to Mario Kart, and that's that's right. They they use the same um, technique, mode seven. Um, oh, finally I get a penalty. Uh, they usually don't. Alright, Larmer. Larmer's got speed. Oh, Larmer's got speed. Oh my god. Larmer trying to catch up to that, um, to Jeremy Roenick's team leading nine goals. Missed that one, though. Oh. All right. That's right, I shut him out. Three different scores. Larmer, Ronick, and number 22. Uh, what looks better, this or an NHL 94? Ooh, that's a hot take. That is a hot take. Uh, and I wonder what what the answer to that would be at the time when it came out. Because uh, I imagine this game kind of blew people away, you know? It's more like a first-person shooter since uh, Teddy Belcher. Um, very nice. Could have been reskinned into a Dragon Ball Z game. Yeah, man, I, I can't say it looks better than NHL 94. Um, it just has so much character. And I, re I really enjoy uh, the character and the grittiness. It sounds gritty, it looks gritty. Uh, the checks are just so hard hitting. Oh, see, I just got checked between like three guys there and then tripped. I just, I just like it. Camera rotation speed is fast and fluid. That's right. It does take a little getting used to, to um, because it does rotate. Uh, you know, up isn't always up. Um, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like up is always up on the screen, but if you're doing a wrap around, um, you can't just you know circle. Do a circle like you would NHL 94 with a bird's eye view. Oh, there, there was a good play I thought that was going to go. Ooh. And I tried to pick his pocket. You can poke check the goal and uh, get, get some BS sometimes. Oh, tried to wrap around, it didn't go. Offsides, come on, man! What is you sipping on, player, says Deontay. Oh, Jeremy is so quick. Always quick. Oh, 
Jerry! Oh, yeah, that's going to be a penalty. Can't cross-check a superstar and expect no repercussions. So they're down by three, a minute 40 left, and I got a double penalty. So it's not looking good for him. Oh, completely misses the goal. That, that happens a fair amount in this game. You think you've got a decent juke, and it just goes, like, right around the goalie. <laughs> I tried to get a cheap one in there. Sometimes the, the goalie uh, just kind of wraps around the goal, looking for the puck or whatever, and he's just out of position. And so you have to, you haven't had the puck. Um, roughing. That's right. Ooh, a virtue cider says Tom. I had a uh, Wilfer, number 139, dry rosé cider from TJ's. That was my, uh, my first choice. Um, then I moved on to Henry Hotspur's rosé cider. Not bad, not bad. That goalie is awesome, says Teddy Belcher. He's huge like an FF7 Barrett. Ray, I mean, Barrett. Um, Bomber getting that goal. He had he had a chance in another one, too, but couldn't make it happen. Number 27 for the Panthers. Six shots, no goals. Yeah, they, they just struggled. I, I just locked out on D. Chelios and company. Here's goal number 10 for Ronick. Also, Larmer with three for the season. None of my defensive men yet. I'm going to have to get a Chelios some, some chances. It's going to be my goal for the next couple of games. Keep it rolling here. Blackhawks, Maple Leafs still undefeated. It's time to go with the Islanders. See what they got. And I'm back at home. I feel like I've been away the last several games. Okay. Looking for an opening, didn't see it. Rips a shot. Ronick. Ooh, all the way around, Ronick. Sometimes you just gotta stick with it. Shanks it. Ronick looking speedy. Gets poke checked. But I'm going to stick with Ronick and uh, try to catch him behind the blue line. I do. Who gets checked? <laughs> Number eight won't let me get the puck. And we got a penalty. Play my Rona says ill tempo. That's right. He went around the horn. Ooh, 
who tried to slip it through. Didn't go. Number six, he's faster than you would think a defensive man would be. Oh, hits the post. Nice shot by the, uh, oh, big check by number six. Oh, <laughs> tried to get a cheap goal. I, I, uh, I poke checked the goalie there. Oh, he w his handedness wasn't ready. Uh, getting lots of shots, lots and lots of shots. Two line pass shouldn't have did that. We're going, we're going line one. I'm gonna give Jeremy the puck. Try to uh, try to play some selfish hockey here. Oh, I was about to rip it. But I was about to rip it, but they checked my face in. All right, here we go, Jeremy. Ah, uh, the timing was not there. Good to did that. Charging. The game is missing rosters, though. Yeah, I feel you. I, I, and especially because I'm not familiar with the players. Like I know Ronick, Chelios, and Belfour, and Larmer, but like that's it. So, um, Tecmo had rosters on the NES. It's right. Yeah, they just didn't get the, the player's license. They got the league license, so thankfully they got the teams, but uh, not the players. So it is a little distracting sometimes, I'll admit. Probably one reason why the um, NHL 94 guys kind of disdain this game. Uh, you don't even got the rosters. Oh! What a pass. Doesn't go. Man, nice pass by the goalie. That could have been a goal. Oh, what a play. That was some, uh, these goalies are incredible, says, uh, says, uh, Retro Sports Game of Tom. They, they're good, man, but it just make it makes it satisfying to score, honestly. Like, there are cheap ways to score. I just don't feel like busting those out, if that makes sense. I would rather, you know, I'm in a season. I'd rather not get any cheap goals or wins. But if you want to, there's a way, um, if you press X, it dumps the puck. Like if you want to you do a penalty kill. and uh, But you can also, you can also like, uh, like see I dumped it right there. You can throw it off the, what's up Matt Stanky? Mode 7 action baby. Um, you can also, blah, 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 kind of, distract, disorient your opponents by kind of dumping it over the goal and the goalie will like try to look for the puck and you won't see it. I just got destroyed. It happens. Oh, missed it.
I was about to rip a slapper. Already better than NHL 94, says Matt. Uh, that's a hot take, man. That's the that's the big discussion. Like, it's not a discussion for NHL 94 guys, but uh, they uh, they hate this game with all their hearts. Most of them, I imagine. But for me, it's it's just two very distinct fun hockey experiences that came out in 93. And I, I like how different they are. Man, what was going on there? They couldn't be more different. Same time period. Um, in the NHL and in, you know, technology. Video game technology. <laughs> One second left with the penalty shot. I will say the computer really sucks at penalty shots, so, like, I'm never scared. Oh, wow, I just looked at the shot count. 19 to 3? Holy cow. I should have more than two goals. Looks fluid for mode 7, he says. It does look fluid. Um, when you're playing it, it is easy to get disoriented because you just have to train your brain because the camera is rotating so much. And it's not like Mario where you're controlling the camera. It's like the, the puck... The, the, the opposing goalie is what's north. Um, so... Ah, oh, why did he not have that? So... You know, now I'm pressing up. Now I'm pressing up. Most of the time you're pressing up, no matter what direction. Um, see, there there I just did a trick play. I said I wasn't going to, but I wanted to. I flicked the puck off of the, the back behind the goal. And the goalie just kind of froze and crossed his legs and tried to, you know, freeze the puck. But that meant I had an edge with the goal open, and uh, I almost scored. But I'm up by two, so it's, it's okay. The other way to do that is to dump the puck at the blue line. And yeah, <laughs> Matt's saying the goal is my true north. Um, you, you dump... Oh, nice glove save by Belfort. Um, You dump the puck at the blue line, and it just, like, Rambo... Rainbows. Oh, Jerry Morning rips it right past the goalie. Super Nintendo was legendary, says Tom. That's right. Uh, so many, you know, when I was asked Monday night what my favorite system was for sports games, uh, you know, NES is great, but Super Nintendo to me is kind of where it's at. You know, low, low N64, of course, GameCube, PS2, good games, but just as far as the nostalgia and the, um, the simplicity, because for me, like, comp getting a game too complicated is just going to, like, I won't, I won't know what to do with all that, you know? I do enjoy me some Madden, but the more, the more recent ones just have so much going on. I mean, I do like me a good, ooh, nice block. Body block. I do like me a good hot route on Madden every now and again. You know, I just it's it's oh penalty shot. Okay, here we go. It's the post. Oh, no, man, this stream has been goalpost central. I can't not hit the post. It's incredible. Ooh, what a play! What a play! Jeremy is there! Hot goal cinematic. Yeah, I, I like it. I, I like the... It, it just really makes you feel like something happened. Like, if you if you scored the goal, you're like, hell yeah. And if they scored the goal, you're like, damn it! Like, just because that horn is just so loud. Um... Looking for something. Oh. Oh!
hooking. Got that right. Super Nintendo is in the Hall of Fame for sure, says Little Tempo. Boom. And I just, I just creamed them in the, uh, the shot, what do you call it? Putting up shots, um, was not close. I only got four goals, but 28 shots. Ooh. Tom saying top five Super Nintendo games, including non-sports. Um, for me, I would say, I would say uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, Super Metroid, um, damn, NBA Jam TE, Zero Sports Games has met, uh, Maybe Mario RPG. Although maybe Mario Kart. Um, hell, you know me. I put in the I put in the dark horses. I'm gonna say yeah, Donkey Kong Country 2. That's right, Tom. Uh, definitely top five game. Great game. Um, Jurassic Park. How about that? I'm gonna throw that in there. Dark Horse, you didn't see that coming. Uh, pretty fun RPG. I guess you would call it an RPG. Sports games can't compete. I feel you, man, but Hang Time is freaking fun, man. Like the first one a lot. The first one is great. The second one, it has more, like, secrets. It has more mini games. Uh, oh, Mega Man X! Yes, Mega Man X, for sure, top five, without a doubt. Absolutely. And of course there's X2, X3, but I'll just, you know, I'll summarize it with Mega Man X. And definitely a top five without a doubt. Absolutely. I was just spacing out. Um, what about you guys? Um, Fortune Gold Jeremy. Got a lot of shots though. Belfort, still not scored on. Um, Blackhawk 6-0. Oh, only undefeated team Blackhawks. Um, well, I don't know if there's other plans for the channels tonight. I'll, I'll plan on playing about four more, get 10 games under my belt, and, and call it a night. Um, unless there's something else going on, just let me know. New York Rangers. I think they're pretty good. I, I don't know who they got on their squad. Probably Robin Leach. Or they get the first, ooh, they're playing some tough defense. Oh, yeah, they are, they got their poke check, poke check game on pretty good. Penalty shot, that's right. Turtles in Time, Castlevania on SNES. I actually have never played it because I'm a sham. I say I love Super Nintendo. I've never played Castlevania. I've never played A Link to the Past, if you can believe that. I've never played Chrono Trigger. So a lot of these absolutely classic Super Nintendo games. I've never played Earthbound. Um, you know, my so my top five is oh off the post my top five is admitted admittedly gonna you know have some ignorant spots in there but super metroid you know i do like that one a lot and, and everyone says uh that's a great one Ooh, might go for the hardcore belt later no mercy all right tell me if you get close to wanting to do that and uh you know i can wrap this up anytime but I am I am feeling it. Um, and I, I could be good for four more games or so. Oh.
Man, nice spacing on the passing. The Rangers aren't aren't going to be a joke, man. This could be a one or two, one or two goal game here. Oh, man, I'm, I'm tired. My guys are tired. Uh, play as long as you want. Not near ready, says Matt. Castlevania's, yeah. You know, Matt, sometimes I got to play, uh, I got to play Castlevania 4, beat it, and then we'll talk about Mega Man X and Castlevania 4. We'll have a little debate. No matter what our true feelings are, we'll take opposite sides, as we're known to do, and we shall figure out. Dang, okay, it's time to play Selvish Hockey. Seconds left. Yeah, these these Rangers, man. That's right. Shunta did that. Should not have did that. They got two guys in the box. That's what I want to see. Oh, of course. Now they can check me to Kingdom Come. Something I want to mention. Yeah, Zelda Link to the Past on SNES. Um, something I want to mention. So with the Mode 7, I don't know if it's a Mode 7 thing or maybe it's this game, but... I do notice that, so when I have a penalty shot, or when the computer has a penalty shot, there's only two avatars to account for for the engine, so it actually runs a little faster, I've noticed. And actually, penalty shots are pretty hard because it's faster. Um, and your, your movements have to be so exact. Uh, I also noticed when there's two guys in the penalty box, there's only, you know, eight avatars instead of ten, and it moves a little faster again. And so that that's kind of interesting that, I don't know, I don't know if they, uh, that was purposeful, like, hey, we can move it faster, let's do it. Or if that's just something that happened, but it is something to account for. Um, and especially because when, so they got two guys in the box now, so they can basically cross-check me as much as they want, and they, there'll be no penalty. Oh, missed it. They can cross-check me because they're not going to put three guys in the box, you know? Uh, so... Oh, Jeremy off the post. Oh, man. Completely misses it. Super Mario World definitely is up there for me. Um, great game. Uh, Yoshi's Island, uh, another great game. I, I enjoy... How distinct those games are from each other. Uh, technically, it's a sequel, but uh, it's just very different. You're, you know, your your baby Mario and, and Yoshi versus uh, regular Mario, <laughs> and um, there's like a, a a weapon mechanic that's just completely different than in the first Mario World. Or, you know, Mario 4, whatever you want to call it, Super Mario World. So, yeah, offsides? Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, World and Yoshi's Island are true classics. Good, good stuff. 16 looking slow. Man, I gotta get on the board here. Ranger is tough though, man. They're not giving me nothing. 
Oh. See, I had the shot, but they just freaking cross-checked me. Oh! That could have been a goal. That's a penalty. Never played the Sim City on there. The top discussion. Oh, you know what's another? Um, I was watching somebody's list of top twenty Super Nintendo games. Um, a game that people don't talk enough about is uh, Killer Instinct, a fighting game by Rare. It's got that kind of clay animation style of Donkey Kong. And everyone knows about Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, but, uh, what's it called? Uh, Killer Instinct has just as unique characters. Um, they had, they really rely on the combo system, though. So if you don't know the ultimate combos, it's hard to be competitive. But as far as learning a few special moves and having really uh, interesting, unique characters um, and a great soundtrack, uh, Killer Instinct, really fun. And it comes in a black cartridge, usually unique, obviously, to the system. Uh, Zombie in My Neighbor says, Matt. Yeah, I remember people talking about that one. For uh, the, the Super Nintendo website that I uh, did reviews for, mostly sports game reviews, um, SNES Hub, they, the first game that they reviewed was Zombie Ate My Neighbors, actually. Because they are like, people, people gotta know about, this. oh, Jeremy! They are like, people gotta know about this one, you know? So right off the bat, Zombie Ate My Neighbors. Ah, oh, he had connected on the pass, he was open. Passing is difficult, am I right? Just ask Jim Harbaugh. Nice, nice play. Through the goal, is, oh, I was about to say the goal was open for a second. They poke checked me and I lost it, but I got it back. Like a bounce. Jamie Ronan lighting it up in the third period, the uh, all pro that he is. Um, bit of a cluster bomb here. Sometimes you just gotta uh, slap it, slap it on the keeper. That looked like icing. Uh, trying to remember what you're referring to. Yeah, in this game, I don't know if it's like it is in... No, there is icing in this game. Uh, for I don't know if this is how it is in the actual NHL, but say you dump the puck... You dump the puck, it goes past the red line. If the goalie doesn't get it and you get it, then it's they don't say it's icing. Um, if the other team gets it, then they say it's icing. Uh, if the smoke saying any other 16-bit hidden gems, um, dude, I'm I'm gonna do another shout out for Jurassic Park. Uh, you know, that one's probably largely Marmer. 
that one's probably largely nostalgic, but I think it's just a fun, simple, especially if you really enjoyed the Jurassic Park movies growing up. Um, not that it has the same aesthetic, but like just to be, just that concept of like, oh my God, there are dinosaurs around here. Um, and there's there's a number of different side quests. You you do fight dinosaurs as a uh, Doctor Grant, which is kind of funny because he was like an anthropologist. Like the last thing he'd want to do is kill a, a dinosaur, you know. But uh, you know he's got some guns. It looks a lot like uh, Doom or Wolfenstein 3D when you go inside a building. It like it's top. It's open world until you go into a building and then it looks like Wolfenstein 3D or Doom and you know you're going around the corner and you're like oh my god there's a dinosaur and you gotta shoot him uh, or if you don't got a weapon the dinosaur can maul you very intense um, I like the soundtrack a lot definitely a hidden gem also I want to say out of this world um, it was a port from I forget which computer system um, Maybe, maybe Apple or something, but um, out of this world, it's a 16-bit platformer, but they use really interesting graphics to, you know, you're not like a little sprite that jumps up and down and stuff. You're, it's kind of like Prince of Persia, if you're familiar with that. It, it moves kind of like all, all your limbs are going at a time. And it's got a sci-fi element. This guy kind of gets... Uh, does a science experiment this physicist named Lester um, it's zapped into this other world you know it's called out of this world and uh Ronix 16 goals not bad not bad and it's not a very long game but it's very story based and it's very emotive like no one else speaks his language because it's this other world but it's still the, the way that they're able with cut screens that the art design is really interesting so out of this world definitely worth checking out. We got the Nordiques on deck. Um, Uni Uniracers is a racing game. Um, you might remember the commercials from back in the day. Uh, or, you know, maybe you have seen them. Like, when the... Uh, you ever play NHL Hits... Probably one of the fave arcade hockey games. Yeah, I, lo I love NHL hits. Uh, I haven't played it a ton because uh, I never really had, never really owned it. Like, my friend had a GameCube and we played some. Um, we play it sometimes at Demon. Oh, they got a goal. The Nordiques got a goal. First time I've been scored on all season. It had to happen sometime. Um,. Armor trying to get around the dudes. So yeah, Uniracers, you're a unicycle. It's a racing game. It, you know, it's like a extreme sports racing game. Uh, man, Rona can't do it. But you, you it's it's really uh, tight. The controls. It's two D. And you know you're a unicycle, and you're going on the track. A lot of times you go upside down. You can press jump, and you can flip, and whatnot. And um, you do a bunch of different tricks and get a lot of points. And the more tricks you do, the faster you go. And it's it's time trial based. Obviously, you know you're racing another a computer player, or you can do a time trial. And so you've got to do a lot of tricks to go really fast. You know, people don't talk about Uniracers much. They, you know, obviously F-Zero comes up, Mario Kart. Um, but, yeah, man, Uniracers I definitely need to do a stream at some point. Hidden gem for sure. Retro Sports Gamer saying that's one of my tops. Or NHL hits, he's probably talking about. <laughs> and I was talking about on Monday night, as far as hidden gems, I'll say Capcom MVP football. Um, I need I need to give that a play at some point on the channel. Um, you know, it, it's no Tecmo, but it's not trying to be. You know, it, it's it's really trying to be uh, Madden. Ah, 
it's a lot like Madden, but it, it does look a little different. In fact, the guys, they look a little bit like Space Lego guys. It's kind of hilarious. Uh, but, you know, one element I really enjoy of that is that you have different scenarios that you can play. There's a game mode where you try to successfully do different historical moments in football games. Like we do the drive with John Elway and whatnot. Ah, tried to get across the crease there. Um, so it, it's fun. I'll definitely uh, bust that one out again. Hidden gem for sure. Can't get my passes on. I'm going to have to. I'm gonna have to regroup and freaking get Ronick the puck. I guess. <sighs> Delicious. Ronick, four shots. Come on, man. What you doing, man? What are you doing? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no one's there for the rebound. Come on, guys. Golden opportunity. Focus magic, look for the best play nice and easy. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, ah! Man, that was my play, dude. That, I was focused, man. I was focused. But I keep hitting the freaking cracking post. Another penalty shot. That's crazy, man. And I just dumped the puck there. I was trying to get something cheap. Sometimes you can flip it over the goalie. Penalties, penalties, penalties. Stole it from the goalie. Oh, that was lazy. I got the, the offsides. Lazy, lazy. Ah, that should have been it. One on none. Ronick. Getting the steal in the front court. Front ice, whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, using that speed to make him pay. Ah. 
Oh, jeez. I could have... I could have had him, uh... That's it, that's right. Um... I could have had, uh, icing and gotten a face-off in, uh, my offensive zone, but... I missed it. Sometimes it's hard to find those angles when your guy's off screen. Try to use the arrows to control them. Um, Ronick doing it, finally. Um, Alright, let's try to get a quick one, get that lead, first lead of the game. Struggling with the passes. Ah, I meant to go to the other guy anyway. Alright, second line. Oh, there it is. Tried to do a little juke move, didn't work. Whoa! Right through the goalie! What a shot. Just freaking right through his face. That's kind of a fun slash. It can be frustrating if it happens to you, but the goalies do look really dominant, but then sometimes, uh, you know, you'll shoot right through them, basically. And it's like, yeah, it looks like they're covering the whole goal, but. Oh, what a move. Looks like they're covering the whole goal, but then they do they do got weak spots apparently. Oh, it's a post! Oh man! Keep hitting the freaking fracking post. That happens a lot if you just, uh, penalty shot, whatever, whatever. If you just, uh, ooh, nice shot. If you're not very specific about, uh, your slap shots, a lot of times you'll hit your own player or, uh, another player. All right, double penalty. It's time for the dagger. Time for the dagger. Here we go. Ah, missed it. Ah, I didn't get the shot off. Oh, almost gets over him. Sometimes it can slip it over him. See, that, that happened to me. Penalty is very quick, frequent, I must say. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it would make sense if um, someone decided to turn the penalties off. Um, definitely would have a few. Oh, that was almost the game, I'd say. Um, come on, Jeremy. Uh, definitely uh, causes a lot of interruptions, causes a lot of... Uh, advantages for whichever team or AI sometimes they don't always they don't use the uh, the clock correctly NHL period at its finest uh, number 22 with the goal Nordic's got one too that means it's overtime and uh, first goal wins. First goal wins, and um, I think nowadays you get like you get less 
points if you win in overtime or something, or you get you get points if you lose in overtime. But here, it was I'm pretty sure it's just like you won. You got points if you won, no points if you lost, basically. I take that back. <laughs> if no one scores the whole game, if you play a full period and uh, there's no score, then we'll both get a point, I think. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Alarmer. Big OT. Sudden death. That's right. Yeah, I didn't feel bad about that. Um, I mean, you want to win in regulation, obviously, but um, GG, thanks. Yeah, they uh. Whew. I just I didn't have a good percentage. Had a lot of shots. A lot of shots. Bonic over ten shots. Um, Morty's not nearly as many. Got to go season stats. Seventeen goals. Moronic. Five from Armor. Nobody else chipping in. I got. I got to get Chelios on the board. I keep saying it. Got to do it. I think I got a couple more in me tonight. Penguins 5 and 1, definitely looking like my competition over there. Maple Leaf still on the feed. Wow. Technically. Uh, we got one tie. Playing New Jersey. I, I believe New Jersey's pretty good. They did win a Stanley Cup in the 90s. Scott Stevens and them. Larmer. With the game winner last game. Oh, they're going to get a good shot. Try to do a little, uh, little dipsy do didn't go. We got a slashing. Big, big advantage for me. Ronick. Boom! Right around the goalie. Got him! That's what you want from your first line. You want to get that first goal for sure. For sure, for sure. Ah. Double guarded him. Couldn't get anything going. We'll put that third line in, give him some uh give him some life. Number 14, he's got okay speed. Oh. Oh, a defender crashes the net. Can't make it happen. Throwing at the true American sniper, that's right. A lot of penalties. <laughs> I wish you could uh, take the frequency down. Oh, off the post, nearly goes. Oh, that one felt good, but I guess it wasn't lined up. Yeah, nice juke. I just tried to poke check him 14 times. Jellios! Can't do it. Goalie read it. Knew what I was doing. Oh, cross checks me. Yeah, I was trying to.
trying to feed, uh, feed Ronick. Oh, he feels fast. Couldn't do it, though. Couldn't get it. Ah! Man, I'm just missing all the shots. Teeing off! It's like ice hockey up in here. I need a boost. I need some, uh, some kombucha. Got a berry ginger. Yard. Hard kombucha, so you know it's delicious. Materials. It's delicious. Only one shot. That's not gonna do it, Devils. That's not gonna do it. That's how you get shut out, man. Ronick. Oh, gets hip checked. They leave him alone. Destroyed. Oh man. I was waiting for the defenders to do something, but that's why you gotta be the user. You gotta be a user defender. You can't trust the computer for nothing. Checked. Wow. Slap shotting. Slap shooting. Ah, can't connect on the pass. Just a cluster bomb in front of the goal. Did you ever get dizzy from this game? Not me, but I think a lot of people did. A lot of people, uh, they just can't even try it. They're like, no, this is, this is not healthy. Ah, missed it. Shot, jeez. Quite as fast as Ronick. Ah. Man, my competition is getting stiffer. It's for the second time. I uh I don't got a lead. 
Dann wohl es. Schöne Wort. Like always, I'm beating him in shots, but... Mm. Ah. Looking for a, a lane. On where to be found. Oh, yeah. Those plays do feel good when they happen. Um, a lot of times they'll they'll miss the easy shot or the easy pass. I mean, but when they connect and then you can just rip it right in there, it feels like hockey. Ah. Tripping, whatever, whatever. What a play. What a play. Oh, missed it. Number 10 doesn't have the accuracy. Dang. That's right. That's right. Right, good defense. They just the lane. I didn't want to give him that shot. Sometimes you just got to take the penalty. Ah. Would have had a break. Just checking me like a rag doll. More penalties, more penalties. Alright, here we go. I got an advantage. Let's go, let's go. Uh, I wasn't watching the time. They were going to cross check me anyway. Period. Chelios. Ah. I was going to try to give Chelios a chance. He didn't have any goals all season. <laughs> Looked like the guy that came out of the box immediately checked and immediately got called for a penalty. That's hilarious. That's called not learning your lesson. It's supposed. Good shot. Man. Yeah, they can get, they can just cross check me to death because they got two guys in the box already. I 
decided to do a line change. My guys were just feeling way too slow, but that gives them a free shot. But uh, thankfully, they don't get it. Goal, he knows what's up. He knows my, he knows my play. Dang! I got, I got to pull one in here. It's been your best drink tonight. Um, probably that, uh, that second cider. Playing MLB the show, listening to this good time. That's cool, man. Like to multitask with the channel as well. What about you, Tom? What are you uh? What are you drinking, if anything? Jack the Gamer saying, "Do I know you on Twitch? You might. We've uh, we have uh, definitely Twitch streamed before. Oh, that was wide open. What the heck? Come on, twenty-two. You got a you got a Twitch channel, uh, Jack the Gamer. What's up, everybody? It says Metal Face Doom. Uh, welcome to the chat. This is one of the games we talked about Monday night on the NES Open Play, and I uh, thought well, we would bust it out because definitely might be a game people have heard of but not necessarily have played. Uh, the last second shot, so we're going into OT. Uh, wow, says Lil. Says Wait, the guy I asked to stream Sonic 3 last second Saturn one day. Um, it might have been, if, if you're thinking of this channel, it might have been Retro Sports Gamer Tom, the guy who's in the chat as the Retro Sports Gamer. Uh, I'm usually not the solo streamer of this channel. Uh, I do appear on different competitive events and whatnot, and uh, certainly in the chat is Green Magic, but uh, just doing a solo stream tonight, playing some. NHL Stanley Cup doing a Blackhawk season. Jeremy Aronic characterizing the lead night in the rules. I'm gonna play one more game for the night. Get that uh, hopefully that tenth dub. Oh I just tied. I didn't realize it was overtime. Wow. Man, I spaced out hard. Um Man. Okay, still undefeated though, still undefeated. So are the Maple Leafs, 6 0 and 1. I hope I play the Leafs, the Penguins, maybe the Blues. Ottawa, we'll take it, whatever. So, last game of the night. Um, Lumberjack Cracks may be playing some WWF later on the channel. Um, so, he, he was talking about that earlier. That might be going on. I'm just gonna play this one more game. Then call it a night, maybe read read some. Ready for another day of work. I don't remember Ottawa being all that great, not very fast or anything. It's the post. It's hilarious when that happens because really they are just dumping. They did the slap shot, but really they're just uh, dumping the puck. And so it's funny that they almost score when they're like not even really trying to. Cross check. The legal cross check apparently. Offside. Shouldn't have did that. Sixteen left wing, looking really slow. He's not in excellent condition, I'll tell you what. Wow, 
thought it was a cool team. Have a season going with them in NHL 2K15. NHL 2K5, my bad. Yeah, they. this is about... This was their first or second um, year in the league. Oh. So they, you know, hadn't really built up a, a core their franchise yet, you know. So just a bunch of rookies and you know, picked over guys from other teams. As far as I know, I mean, I don't know, really know my. They were stacked back then, says El Tempo, 2005, I guess. Like, I, I sort of like playing with Ottawa in NHL 94. They got a, you know, they got some lineups that, that can be kind of fun, but they're not really competitive. They're definitely in the bottom tier or the expansion team tier. Uh, it's not too long. And uh, not a lot of star power to work with. All right. Man. Get off to a slow start these last several games. Maybe I've been playing Ronan too much. Maybe I haven't been playing him enough. Off the post. Man, I've had so many post shots. forever to get that puck. Okay, 05, I feel you. I'm gonna try to get a clean shot off. <laughs> of course my guy gets in the way. That's one of the funny things about this game. Again, just not getting a good angle on that. Undefeated still? Yeah, I did tie that last game. I spaced out. I didn't realize I was in overtime. I knew I was going to overtime, but I didn't. I don't know. Blah, 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 excuses. So I'm 8-0-1. This will be the last one of the night. Um, trying to get that ninth win. Um, yeah, started slow last several games. I've, uh, I guess I'm, try I'm trying to find other ways to score other than just, you know, Ronick up the side, but um, that kind of is the tried and true way. Ah, that's, that's too bad when your AI doesn't help you out. Ronick! Oh, again off the post. That's like the third one he's done like that. Uh, my timing just must be off or something. Ah, I thought I had that one. Woo! I guess it's worth it for me to just rip a slapper with Ronick sometimes because... Uh, you know, it feels lazy, but it's it works sometimes. I mean, hey, if your guy can rip a slapper, then you should be ripping slappers. Larmer. <laughs> A 
Let's uh, let's see if I can do one of these trick moves. I'm gonna just flip it from the blue line. Uh, we'll see if that works for me. Oh, we got cross check. We'll try it next period. Goalie's best friend is the post. That's right. Yeah, just keep hitting the post. It's, it's exciting, but it's like, dang, am I am I doing something wrong? Am I getting unlucky? And uh, th and there's a trick move. I just dumped the puck and just flipped it into the goal. Um, that's pretty consistent. I just wanted to show that one time. It feels cheap because it is. Um, I will. I will try the other trick move. It helps if you're a faster guy. Um, and that's just to like flip it. Uh, flip it off the board. Um, behind the goalie, and uh, like that, sometimes the goalie will chase the puck around, and then, and then, you just got an open shot if you can get the rebound. So like that, I got the rebound and I scored. Uh, so that's another trick play that's it's really fun to do, but it just it feels so dirty. I, I try to not um, not do it <laughs> uh, when I'm like doing a season. No. Oh, that looked like a good opportunity. Uh, what's up, Teddy Belcher? I wish Utah had pro hockey out. I would have invested. Yeah, man, they're uh, they're just too too invested in their tabernacle choirs, I guess. Ronick, Ronick, oh, don't let him, don't let him poke check you, Jeremy. Jeremy just ripping so many shots, just freaking being a monster. Cincinnati Cyclones got three championships in the last uh, in the last ten years. Wow. Cincinnati. Senate is roughing. We got a minute twenty left. I'm up four zero. Um. Dude, let's put in the backup goalie. Let's give him let's give him some some reps, you know? Woo! And that's another little it's sort of dirty, what can I say? But the goalie had the puck and I just poke checked him. And uh the puck went into the goal. What can I say? What can I even freaking say? Oh, that's a penalty. So, U.S. Bank's team is the parts behind the red Cincinnati's indoor stadium. But Cyclones decent. But Cyclones are decent. Okay, okay. Man, they're not coming back like that. They're down 5-0. Like how is that offside? But you know, that's that's one of the things about this game where you you destroy people with a cross check, but then they're just lying there, and that can translate into offsides, uh, obviously, because you cross the blue line, and if they're on the ground, then offsides. Oh, there it is. There's the game. The dump from blue line was my favorite dirty trick, dude. It's fun, man. It's uh, you can really rack up the score from the one you showed. Yeah. Uh, I, 
I, I like the one, for some reason I like the one where you, you dump it off behind the goalie and he, he goes around and he's just like right there. Sometimes the puck literally hits you and he knocks your player over but the puck still goes into the goal. Those, those are the most stylish ones. Um, <laughs> this is Pilot Wings, says Teddy Belcher. Yeah, someone else mentioned that too. Uh, Pilot Wings, I know that was one of the early Super Nintendo games. No, no, it was one of the early... Yeah, Super Nintendo games. But, uh... This 1993 is in Mode 7. Jeremy Roenick, 2 goals, 11 shots. Um... Bellacore with the shutout. We got season stats real quick. 21 goal, not bad. Um, not a lot of scoring distribution, but you know what? Ronick is just that good. What can I say? What can I say? Um, yeah, that's going to be the stream. Um, thanks for everyone who's watching. Um, Matt mentioned earlier that maybe he will be doing some WWF on the channel, so stay tuned. That sounds cool. Um, I'm just going to check on the league real quick. Uh, 9 0 Blackhawks, that's the right. Maple Leafs also undefeated. So uh, I'm going to have to knock them off their perch, show them who's boss. 19 points for the Blackhawks. Man, that Pacific division is really struggling. Only 6 points. Um, wow, and I got 4 good teams in my division. That's hilarious. It's going to be a tough, tough division. Anyway, um, oh, it was made in Utah. That's funny. Oh, good job. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it. Sculptured Software was a game development company based in Salt Lake City, Utah, and founded in 1984. Interesting. Um, I'm glad it was fun, El Tempo. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good night, and uh, see you again sometime.